Welcome to the Franklin Park Public Library. I'm Miss Laura, and we will be making a paper plate and string basket. To make this paper plate and string basket, you will need scissors. So go ahead and in your grab and go kit, you have a small ball of string and a paper plate. So the first thing that you you will do is, as you can see on the paper plate, it, there are some triangles, five triangles on it. You will first need to cut these out of the paper plate. So cut along the, the markings and cut all of these out. Once you've cut all of those out, all of the triangles out, you have something that looks a little bit kind of like a flower with five petals. Uh, what you'll need to just kind of gently bend these in to the center, and that forms the shape of your basket. So now, as you can see, it uh, has the shape of a basket. <clears throat> So you can then take your ball of string and pull, use the part of the string that's already coming out and tie this around one of the, I'm going to say petals, because it kind of reminds me of the flower. And um, if you can see this, tie a, like a small double knot once and then do it again to make a, a strong knot. If you have extra string, you can cut off this end. Now for this is for for weaving, you want to Go, this one is over, and you want to alternate. This one coming next will be under, and this one will be over, under, over, and then repeat. Under, over, under, and when you need more yarn, just pull it out of the, pull it out of the ball. So this is under, over, under, over, under, and you'll just keep repeating this and the string will build and build up the sides of the basket. So you, you, you're going to just keep going over, under, over, under, keep repeating this pattern and pull out more, more string when you need more. Over, under, over, under, over, under. And just keep going around. Now this will build up and then you want to kind of push these sides in as you're doing it and this will now it, it will be shaped kind of like a bowl or basket as you go up. Um, just keep repeating the pattern of over, under, over, under. Over, under. And you can pull the string a little bit tighter to help make the sides 
kind of stand up so that it makes a basket or bowl shape as you as you're going But as, as you can see, this is starting to make a kind of a container shape. At a certain point, this is this is what it will look like when it's finished. Now, um, when you're ready to tie off this string, cut, cut it at a certain point and go ahead and tie it to one of these strings on the outside. Kind of loop it under, and you, then you can tie a knot in it carefully so that it doesn't come off the top of the, the basket. And then this extra piece, you can cut off the, the extra. And there you have a nice, a nice basket that you've woven and that you can put things in. Um, I think for mine, I'm going to put in my toy dinosaur collection and store that in there. There we go. Hopefully they'll stay warm in there. So there you have it. Your uh, paper plate and string basket. Thank you for watching and have fun. Please be sure to watch all of the videos in the Little Red Riding Hood Fairy Tale Problem Solving STEM Kit series if you haven't already. If you would like to check out the Little Red Riding Hood Fairy Tale Problem Solving STEM Kit or any other STEAM kit available for checkout, please take a look at the link on the screen and posted below the video. Thank you!